explosives. These have plagued content creators, podcasters, and singers for years. So what are plosives? Well, the diaphragm of the microphone is inside here. When a gust of air pushes into it and physically moves the diaphragm of the mic too much, then you get a very distorted sound. And you hear this the most with P sounds, B sounds, anything that's like a puff. So Peter, Bob, T, T sounds also, you hear that. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Very unpleasant to listen to. So how do you deal with this? So there are three easy methods to prevent plosives before they happen. And then there's one that can kind of contain them after the fact. So let's go through the three quick methods to prevent it first. So this is a wind guard. It comes with the Shure MV7. You'll hear it called slightly different things depending on the company. Some of them call them a wind guard, pop shield. Some even call them a pop filter, but that's not completely accurate. This goes onto the mic. If I were to blow into it, Peter Piper picked a peck. Then you can already hear that. But with this on, Peter Piper picked a peck, then it should be reduced significantly. So this mic is the Shure MV7. This is the wind guard or pop filter that comes with this mic. Now it's not that great, because if you blow a little bit harder, pop, 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 then it will get through. So what you can do, solution number one, is either use a wind guard if you don't have one, or a better one. So this actually goes to the Shure SM7B. If you haven't seen this, then you probably haven't been on Twitch very much. This one's a lot longer. What these do is they really just block the air from directly impacting the diaphragm of the microphone as hard. And since this one is longer than one that goes on the SM7B, it has more room to displace the air. So this will reduce plosives even better. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So that's the first solution. Either use a wind guard or a better wind guard if you have one available or get one. Now the second solution is to get an actual pop filter. They look like this and they attach to your boom arm. You just kind of screw it on. This one came with my boom arm. And this mesh does the same thing. It blocks the air from hitting the diaphragm of your microphone too hard. You can use one that's steel or mesh. I saw a video of Booth Junkie comparing them and there wasn't really that much of a difference. So let's do that similar test. Now you don't want this like right on it because it's not really going to actually block anything like you're not going to really block anything like that. You need room for the air to be displaced. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Normally, you don't actually need to hold it. You just would attach it to the boom arm, but I took this one off. All right, so that's the second solution. Now, you usually don't need to stack them. Uh, usually, one of the others better, but this is the third solution. I find this to be the best and the easiest, which is repositioning the mic. I know after watching like Joe Rogan, people like to talk like right into the mic because you get that proximity effect. The problem is there are not very many microphones that can resist plosives to the same level as the SM7B. The grill on the SM7B is like really long and this pop filter is really long and it displaces air well. And it's just really good with the low frequencies that you get from blowing that air into there. It's just tuned well for that. So it's very resistant to those, but most mics are not. But you can still get a proximity effect. What I do is reposition the microphone so that it's slightly at an angle so that I'm speaking past the mic. This is becoming a lot more popular. Podcasters does this. And depending on the mic, you might not actually need any of the other solutions when you do this. Like you wouldn't need, you definitely wouldn't need this, this pop filter. And you might not need this wind guard either. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. There are a few methods that you can use in post to kind of decrease plosives. I'm only gonna show one for now. I'll talk about the other one really quickly is you can change the EQ a little bit. You can even change the EQ before because usually it's the lower frequencies, but that's a little bit harder to demonstrate with Audacity's equalizer. The one I'm gonna show is just decreasing the volume. Now, listen to this. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Each individual puff, you can decrease the volume of those. So like this last one, I've opened this in Audacity, just went to effect, amplify, and then I would actually drop it down. And I don't have an exact value of what I would drop it down by, but I'll just drop it down by that. So now you hear, this is how it sounds before. Picked. And this is after. Picked. Picked. So it's not peaking. And so that doesn't really get rid of the distortion element of it. It still doesn't sound like smooth and right. But if you only have one or two plosives, you can make it a lot less obnoxious like that. 